Hello friends, it is time for another TBR jar video. It's the end of May, which means that June is right around the corner. And of course that means that I'm gonna be picking out what I'm gonna be reading in the month of June in this video. This also technically marks a month since I've been back on YouTube, so that's really nice. So in this video, I take prompts out of this TBR jar. It's just got a bunch of prompts like this inside. I'm gonna take around six or seven of these and pick books corresponding to the prompts. I'm currently doing quite well with my TBR this month. So yeah, I hope this is gonna continue working it's magic and I don't think there's anything else to say let's just get on with picking the prompts okay let's pick the first prompt <gasps> jam shed yeah. it's you huh? it's you phone a friend slash jam shed oh, it is <laughs> so jam shed is just getting ready to leave and it literally says on the first prompt phone a friend no way. I'm telling you how <laughs> Is that you're gonna see in the video? I probably like rummaged around as well. Well, I recommend grab it for me, please. I'm so happy. <laughs> I actually can't believe this. The book for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> That's one in 360 chance. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay, that's so odd. I literally was pretending to do this with him earlier and he picked out a prompt and I picked out a prompt and it was literally this one and then I put it back in. There's 60 prompts in here, I think. So that is ridiculous odds. So yeah, this one is literally just getting a recommendation off someone I know, like a friend or obviously a jam shed. And yeah, we literally talked about this earlier and he told me which he would pick. And I don't know how I feel about it, but um, he's picked The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. <sighs> I'm a little bit nervous. He knows that I don't like World War stuff he literally made me watch a world war ii movie yesterday called allied i think it was with brad pitt which actually was really really good but yeah i'm not the biggest fan of like the world wars in media like in books or movies like it's just not really my thing but i actually am really interested in this because it's narrated by death and i've never read a marcus Cusack book before so yeah i mean bring this on to be honest set in nazi germany 1939 and it follows a nine-year-old girl her parents have been taken to a concentration camp and this is her story and the whole novel's narrated by death so yeah this is actually kind of exciting and i'm just happy because it's jamshed that's picked this to be honest like he's gonna be so happy and i'm gonna be able to like tell all my reactions to him so yeah this is actually a really great first pick i forgot to mention at the start of this video that it is obviously pride month in june and i did want to pick a few books like at least a couple of books that are queer and have queer representation in them so that is what i'm gonna have my mind on from here on out with the prompts let's pick the second prompt i actually can't get over that first prompt though that was so good <laughs> a poetry slash short story collection okay i think i know what i'm gonna pick and i think it's gonna be a short story collection oh there are so many things that i could pick i've got some ocean Vuong poetry uh, i've also got a ton of courtney pepperdale that i haven't finished yet i kind of wanted to pick this back up because i am less than halfway through it okay i have a few options okay so these are all the options that i've got to choose from there's only one short story collection which i've mentioned and then the rest is poetry so let me just go through them quickly so we've got bliss montage by ling ma and this is a short story collection of really like weird and like disturbing stories but i really really loved her writing and i loved her ideas they were just completely off the wall and really fun i just personally don't love short stories that are longer um <laughs> i really like the properly short ones that only last a few pages it's kind of like fun fiction to read when you've got more of a short attention span and when long form fiction isn't really floating your boat but then equally i could use poetry for the exact same reason so i've got two ocean vuongs and two courtney pepinels that i haven't read yet so night sky with exit wounds and then the newer one which is like over a year old now i think a year or two old is time as a mother um which i don't think got as good reviews so i'm kind of like leaning towards night sky with exit wounds if i was to read one first and then we've got time will tell which i want to say is courtney pepinels latest but then again i really don't know i haven't actually kept up with her but I think this one came out in the UK or came into my bookshop at least in December. And then I think the year before that was The Way Back Home, this one. I just love these collections. Ever since I read Watering the Soul, which I think was her first in this kind of collection with this character. Yeah, I really enjoyed it at the time and I haven't like delved into another one of her collections in that same way since. You know what, I think I'm going to go with Ocean Vuong because I've been meaning to read anything by him in years and just never picked it up because I was a bit tentative. But I think I'm going to pick up Night Sky with Exit Wounds. It's literally the winner of 
the T.S. Eliot prize back in 2017 and I feel like challenging myself. So yeah, I'm gonna go with this. Prompt number three, let's go. Oh, a bunch just fell out. I'm gonna pick one of those. Let's go with this one. Ooh, this one says a debut novel. So someone's first book. Okay, what I am gonna use for this one is my laptop because I have on my Notion a whole spreadsheet of my entire physical TBR. I have picked out the titles that would fit with Pride Month, so I'm gonna have a look at those and see if any of those are obviously a debut novel. That might be a debut. That could definitely be a debut. That one's not. Okay, I'm gonna double check if this one's a debut and if it is, then I'm definitely gonna pick it. I think it is. I think it is. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Perfect. It's Mrs. S by K. Patrick and this is one that I got signed by the author last year. I so enjoyed meeting them and this is the perfect book for June because I feel like it's that like hot sultry romance set in a boarding school. Perfect for summer. This is K. Patrick's debut novel. I think they usually write poetry I want to say. This is about an intense love affair set at an English boarding school between I think an Australian teacher, like a new teacher, and the headmaster's wife. It's an illicit affair baby. I'm so happy I could fit this on this TBR because this was one of the books that I really wanted to. So yeah, it all worked out. We are onto our fourth prompt now. Ooh, this one is by an author with your initial. We're literally getting new ones every single time. Hey, Patrick would have been great for that, but anyway. I'm gonna try and find an author beginning with K, preferably their first name, and see what I can find. I don't think any of the queer authors on my shelves have K as their first or last name. So this is gonna be a little bit random. I was thinking about picking this up a couple of weeks ago because I watched the movie Bullet Train and I actually really liked it despite being completely skeptical and it reminded me that I actually have this book on my shelf which is by the same author that Bullet Train was based on and this is actually the first book in that series I think it's called the Assassin series so I think Bullet Train is the second book and this is the first and it's called Three Assassins and if it's anything like the movie and like the style of the movie and just like has the same humour I think I'm gonna love it and it is by the author Kotaru Isaka. I I feel like to make it interesting I'm going to pick this one because I was really thinking about picking this up a couple of weeks ago but didn't want to disrupt my current May TBR. Okay, we are on our fifth prompt. Oh, this is a good one. This is a really good one. It says 2024 TBR list, which means that I get to pick one of the 12 books that I set the intention of reading this year. It's on my Goodreads. If any of you guys want to add me on Goodreads, I always keep the link down below as well as my other social media like Instagram and stuff. I've like started creating a bunch of lists on Goodreads and like using it more this year and I don't know why I just feel like way more motivated with it. Yeah so I've got 2024 TBR. Don't know if you can see that. So I've already picked up Mrs. S so that's one off this list. I've already read a few of these books as well. I've read The Dragon Republic, Piglet, Quarter Life, Eileen, The Seven Deaths of Beverly Hardcastle. So the other ones on the list are Your Driver is Waiting by Priya Guns, Death Valley by Melissa Broder, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio, Rouge by Mona Awad, and The Hundred Years War in Palestine by Rashid Khalidi. I think I want to add another Pride book to this TBR, so I think I'm gonna go with Your Driver is Waiting by Priya Guns. I'm so nervous about this one because it's got so many mixed reviews. My friend Simon was gushing about this last year, so that is the reason that I picked this up as soon as it came out in paperback. I also love, love, love this cover. I'm not bothered to know the ins and outs of the plot. It's queer, it follows a taxi driver which is super unique and a friend that I trust really likes it so this is going on my TBR for June. That brings me to five books so I think I'm gonna pick at least one more like I did last month. I picked six books and I think that was like quite a good number for me. So we're gonna pick this one, see what we get and see if I want to add any more after that. Oh, I think I got this one last month, Includes a Mystery. And I think I picked Riley Sager for that one and really, really enjoyed it. It got me back in the mood for thrillers. Maybe I could pick something kind of similar for this prompt. I wonder, I wonder. I feel like this one could definitely be cast as Includes a Mystery just from reading what it's about. I think this is like kind of dystopian, like sci-fi-y. It says something sinister seems to be unfolding, something related to their mother's long ago disappearance and the strangers who have always been unusually interested in their lives. Soon it becomes clear that the sisters have been chosen for a very particular purpose, one with shattering implications for their family and their imperiled world. I feel like that does 
count as includes a mystery. I might be stretching that a little bit. I feel like most books like this include a mystery. Oh yeah, it's like a King Lear retelling, isn't it? Or like it has something to do with King Lear. So yeah, anyway, it's Private Rights by Julia Armfield, which is literally perfect because it's coming out in June. I really wanted to pick this today and I think this is the right prompt for it. And I'm actually currently reading Our Wives Under the Sea. I'm listening to the audiobook for it and I've fallen in love with Julia Armfield's writing. I think she's absolutely brilliant. Like our wise under the sea i feel like i might have to pick up physically because it is that good that i just want to like underline it and like highlight it and scribble all over it so yeah i really wouldn't mind reading more from julia especially on the month of its release might have to go for private rights i am so happy with this okay cool oh, i feel like this is enough to read i feel like this is more than enough to read in one month especially because i'm going away <gasps> Actually, there was some other books that I wanted to read while I go away, but is it a bit risky to pick another TBR jar prompt just in case it doesn't fit in with the prompt? Because there's like one or two books that I was thinking that I would read while I was away to match the theme of the holiday and like where I'm going. What do we think? Let's pray to the prompt gods that I get what I want from this seventh prompt. But I really, really want a specific book for my holiday or like a specific type of book, a very specific sub genre. Let's go. Book community favorite. I'm gonna pray that you guys understand me when I pick one of these books. I feel like I'm not lying when I say that these are favorites. I feel like these are favorites in the book community and you can comment and tell me that I'm wrong but I don't think I am. I think I just made that work in my favour. Yes please, yes please. Sorry, ignore the fact that they're so different. This one I got in an airport but I think it is so gorgeous so I don't even care how much bigger it is. Hilarious. So I personally feel like Jennifer Sane is a book community favourite out of all the historical fiction like Greek retelling authors other than Madeline Miller I feel like Jennifer Sane is like the next biggest one that everyone reads in the online book community but which one do I want to read? Most people who have read Ariadne really really loved Ariadne so I feel like this would be a really good one I'm quite familiar with the story and then there is Electra which is absolutely beautiful and I kind of want to pick just for the cover. At some point in June me and Jamshad are going to Greece for his birthday we're going to be there for like eight days so I really really wanted to take a Greek retelling with me because I read Circe there last time and it was just perfect. Ariadne has had too many tales of women being punished for the acts of men she's determined to set her own fate but will she find herself sacrificed for her lover's ambition. That actually sounds so good. So Clytemestra is the sister of Helen, wife of Agamemnon, uh, who was taken to Troy by Paris and the whole Trojan War happened because of that, okay? Cassandra, she's cursed by Apollo to see the future, but never to be believed when she speaks of it. That is so frustrating. Oh my God, I can't even imagine. So she is powerless in her knowledge that the city will fall. Oh my God, this is kind of interesting actually. And then Electra, the youngest daughter of Clytemnestra and Agamemnon. That sounds really dramatic actually. I kind of am into that. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of more drawn to Electra. So I'm gonna pick this up. I could change my mind before Greece, but I don't think I will. Like something is just drawing me to this. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna follow my heart, follow my gut and add that to the pile. Oh my god, that is such a very TBR, probably way more than last month. Like last month was, I was saying, was like all hitting kind of on no, and I think it did, but this one is just all over the place. But that's exciting, because then I can just mood read. Okay, here's my TBR for June. This is just not at all what I was expecting. There are a few that I did want to put on here, but just some really rogue ones as well, like the book fee. No, I'm into it. I'm into this TBR. I think this is really exciting. So yeah, let me just go through all of them one final time. So for phone a friend slash a jam shed, we've got The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. For the prompt short story slash poetry collection, we've got Night Sky with Exit Wounds by Ocean Vuong. For debut novel, I've got Mrs. S by Kay Patrick. And for by a author with my own initial, we've got Three Assassins by Katara Osaka. For 2024 TBR list, we've got Your Driver Is Waiting by Priya Guns. Includes a mystery, we have Private Rights by Julia Armfield. And finally for book community favourite, we have got Electra by Jennifer Saint. I can't wait to read Electra on holiday. I can't wait to read my first Ocean Vuong like throughout the month. 
I can't wait to read the book thief and like share all of my thoughts with Jamshed, treat it like a book club while he continues to read the poppy war and do the same with me. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed me picking this TBR for next month. Let me know which ones on here you're most excited to see me read, which ones you've read already, which ones you liked, which ones you didn't like so much. Let's talk in the comments. I want all of your opinions. The next video you see from me will probably be a vlog. I might pick up one of these books then. So stay tuned. But until then, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.